Hello and welcome to the Business Programme. I'm Liz Hay and my special guest on today's show is Grant Henderson, Managing Director of McGinley CEP, the construction arm of the McGinley Group. The McGinley Group are one of the UK and Ireland's fastest growing specialist recruitment firms. They have over 40 years experience in recruitment and have offices in key cities in the UK and Ireland. The sectors they serve include infrastructure, energy, telecommunications, education and healthcare, where they recruit for a number of construction and project-based roles. Grant is originally from South Africa, but has lived and worked in the recruitment industry here in the UK for 15 years. He's trained and coached recruitment consultants, launched a training academy, and even developed his own personality assessment tool under the brand i3. Grant's a firm believer that people can reach their full potential with greater self-awareness and confidence. And I'm delighted he could join us today. Hi Grant. Hi Liz, um, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about the backstory and the vision behind McGinley Group. And can you describe what size firm you operate today? Sure, no problem. So McGinley Group is, um, as you've mentioned, a collection of companies, recruitment companies. Um, that serves largely the education, healthcare, construction and uh, aviation sectors. Um, and uh, our vision is to become a front runner within each of our, our given sectors. Um, but to do so, um, we want to become that company or that group of companies that people love to work with and for. So that kind of, uh, kind of overshadows everything that we do um, and we measure back to that to make sure that we're on track. And how important is it for McGinley to have a UK-wide presence? And how would you say it's benefited your clients? Yeah, so specifically for the, the company I run, McGinley CEP, which is the construction, engineering and property business, mm -hmm. um, we obviously serve clients that have national presence. So uh, what we found is that having offices around the country enables us to provide local people that we know and have relationships with to local sites. Um, and we believe those relationships with the candidates are super important, um, but it also allows us then to network with uh, existing and future clients um, at source. So yes, we serve big national companies, but we're also able to work with local regional businesses. And what are some of the biggest challenges that you're facing in the infrastructure and construction sectors at the moment? I think, um, it's similar challenges to probably most sectors. Okay. Um, we are influenced by confidence um, and uh, what people believe is happening in the mm. marketplace. And I think construction particularly is vulnerable to a lack of confidence. When people aren't confident or when the marketplace is not confident, uh, companies stop building basically because building is, is for the future. Sure. And so, um, so yeah, that, that's, that's one of the biggest um, hurdles, I suppose, or challenges that we're facing. And with um, the growing kind of, um, what could I say, inputs uh, mm -hmm. into the world of confidence or what the future holds for us, that's without doubt the biggest, biggest challenge we face. And would you say at the moment the confidence is reasonably high or would you argue that potentially we're on the verge of a recession? I think if we're all honest, mm -hmm. we would say that, that um, confidence is, is kind of level pegging. So don't want to be, I'm, I'm certainly not a pessimist, um, but um, as an optimist, I can even say to you that uh, it's not that everyone's looking at it and going, wow, we're he heading into 2019 with um, the biggest order books we've ever had. Um, and everyone's going to be, be building more than they've ever built before. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are just waiting to see what happens mm -hmm. um, post the end of the Brexit negotiations. Sure. And, uh, and so confidence is, is probably a bit flat at the moment. Um, and and we're, we're certainly hoping that that, that changes soon. Mm -hmm. And what sort of measures can you put in place to create resilience in a firm such as yours when economic confidence might be flat, as you describe? Yes, yeah, so I think... There's, there is only so much you can do to influence that because we're talking about big kind of, you know, macro economics that, sure. that we have almost zero influence over. So it's about what we do internally and, and how we face these challenges. And 
I think um, one of the keys and the benefits to the type of, of group McGinley's group is and the business McGinley's CEP is, is that mm. we are truly agile. So when we face challenges like this, we are very open to opportunities mm. um, and we are flexible enough to capitalize on those opportunities, whatever they might be, whether it's a small change internally to our processes or it's a complete you know, 180 degree turn on, a, on the type of, of sector or, or marketplace within our sector that we service. Sure. Um, being agile, being flexible is absolutely key to, to getting through troublesome times. And that's just learning from having gone through the last great big recession yeah. and realizing that where people were inflexible, they got hurt the most. Mm -hmm. And where people were open-minded and able to adapt, they benefited the most. So having that at the forefront of what we do in these times of, let's just say, mild uncertainty yes. um, is, yeah. is, we believe, super important. Yeah, so adaptability is key, really. For sure. <laughs> now, you were listed in the Sunday Times uh, 2017 as one of the best companies um, to work for. Uh, and you've been recognised as well by the London Stock Exchange as one of a thousand companies to inspire Britain 2018. Congratulations. Thank you. How would you say these accolades have impacted the business? So I think they are, um, they are really important and we, we're proud as a mm -hmm. group. But um, what's important to also note about is they're just a byproduct of what we do. So sure. um, they, they are great accolades. Um, however, it's, it's what, we, what we actually do what, what, what it says on the tin is what we do and what we deliver. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, num one of our number one values as, as McGinley's group is to be genuine. And um, that's actually tough, I think, <laughs> uh, where, where genuineness is all about honesty and trustworthiness. Sure. And, and a lot of people have those values spray painted everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not judging other organizations, but it's, it's a hard value to live by. And so um, because that's at the forefront of what we're trying to, trying to be, um, the other good things come from that, you know. So we, we take on the tough, tough road of being a really honest, um, we're in the sales service industry ultimately, sure. you know, a yeah. people to people business, relationships and people are, are everything to us. So you get found out really quickly if you say that you're an honest, trustworthy company or group of companies and you're not. Mm. So I think then all the, all the successes that we've had and the awards that keep stacking up, which is absolutely amazing, we're not chasing them. We're just trying to okay. deliver on our values. And uh, as I said, you know, in the beginning, it's so that it's a positive byproduct of what we are, which is, which then is, that's what makes us really proud of all these, all these awards. Great. And what does the future look like for McGinley Grant? Well, I'd, I'd like to say the future is really bright. Um, and this is the, the optimist in me that will come out in, in full flight. Um, we, we really believe in what we're doing and we, we mm -hmm. believe that we are already uh, one of the uh, front runners in terms of, um, like I said, living, you know, really living out our, our values, but ultimately just um, a super trusted group of companies uh, mm -hmm. that are without doubt the best in what we do in our chosen sectors. And, uh, and yeah, just when you, if you were to interview our staff, you know, at, at someone who'd only been with us for six months, let's just project forward in three, four, five years time, that they would be telling you this stuff. You know, it wouldn't have mm -hmm. to come from a managing director that they would be able to, to kind of testify and say, yeah, you know what, this, this company's amazing. They've done this for me. They really, you know, are a great company to work for. And they genuinely care about relationships and people. Mm -hmm. And when you're in an industry like we're in, um, where people get done over quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think that in itself will be, if, if that is the future and, and, and how it plays out, we'll have done really well um, on that journey to get there. So, so that's where I see us and see us being placed in the, in the whole recruitment market. Great. Well, thanks for joining me today, um, Grant, and we wish you and, uh, and the McGinley Group every success in the future. Thank you so much, Liz. Now, that's all we have time for today, but do join me again next time on The Business Programme.